Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's second video, doing GMA Friday for today's second video. So as always on a Friday, we're having a look at the weather for the uh, next four weeks of the month ahead with Japanese and the CFS meeting models. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment, just to say that the first video we say was a 6am upload. And I've got a 10 to 14 day with all of the regular features coming up to you later on this afternoon. So please like, share and subscribe on those videos. And thank you so very much everybody. Uh, for uh, doing that, I'm uh, still uh, down with cold and cough and whatnot, so I may be uh, hacking my way through uh, this one. So please just bear with me, everyone, and thank you so much uh, for doing that. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, we're going to start off with the uh, week one, uh, 500 millibar height anomaly from the Arctic and the North Pole view down from the JMA. So this is the uh, North Pole just here, wider Arctic circle around there. And then we've got the mid latitudes through here. Uh, these are broken down into weekly periods. The first week period will take us from the 14th to the 21st of the um, April and of course blue is extrapolating to uh, below average heights which is low pressure yellow orange and red to above average heights which is high pressure so for week one the 14th to the 21st of uh, April we've got a large area of above average heights high pressure sitting across the north and west of Europe so obviously going to be much more anti-cyclonic next week a lot drier and uh, hopefully a little bit warmer as well week two will be the 21st the 28th of April, again, we see the above average heights in over top of the UK, and I should be a lot of dry weather with that. And then week three and four takes us from the 28th of April to the 12th of May, and that area of high pressure then starts going, <coughs> starts going, I'm sorry, sorry, but it starts going towards Greenland and also Iceland, uh, with some lower pressure to uh, the south, and that could get the wind into an easterly, or maybe even a northeasterly uh, direction. Uh, let's have a look at the tropical and mid latitude view then, so we can't see the Arctic, North Pole, Greenland, all those areas off the chart up here, but we've had a look at that view down, so you know what's going on. You can iron in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it, my you off the week one. 500 millibar height anomaly with a lot of high pressure sitting over top of the UK and Ireland. The temperature anomaly for uh, week one is above average. It's going to be quite a warm week to come. Temperatures around two to three degrees above normal. I'd be surprised if it's quite that warm, I have to say, with an easterly flow. But of course, we'll see. And uh, precipitation wise, it's a dry and average week as well as you would expect, with high pressure in the ascendancy. <coughs> now, we go through the week two, which is going to be the 21st to the 28th of uh, April. Again, with high pressure sitting over the top of the country. So, once more, we're looking at another more than average week, uh, with uh, those above average temperatures there by around 1, 2 degrees. And, uh, again, it is another drier than average week with that area of high pressure sitting through the country. And then week three and four takes that high pressure away to the northwest towards Greenland and Iceland with some lower pressure underneath it. So uh, the temperature anomaly is average to a little bit above, but not as warm as it is in weeks one and two, but still on the milder than average side, if anything. Um, and it's still largely drier than normal as well. So uh, quite a dry sort of four weeks to come. Uh, if a JMA is right, and pretty mild too. <coughs> okay, we go through the week uh, to CFSV2, sorry, uh, week one, 500 millibar height, and only which will be the 14th to 20th of April, the uh, coming week, we'll have the area of above average heights reaching through the north and the west of Europe, so again, a lot of dry weather to be enjoyed with that. Winds could be a little bit east or east, so not necessarily overly warm, but should be lots of dry conditions to come. Week 2 will be the 21st to 27th of April. The above average heights out in the middle of the North Atlantic. The uh, wind is coming in again from an east or a northeasterly direction. With that, week 3, very similar to the JMA, is the 28th of April to the 4th of May. The high pressure goes up towards Iceland and Greenland. Low pressure is away to the south. That probably brings the wind in from an east or a northeasterly direction. 
And then week four is going to be the 5th to the 11th of May with high pressure towards um, Greenland and also over Scandinavia. Could there be a trough of low pressure through here? Let's put in uh, a question mark. Temperature anomaly for week one is above average 14th <coughs> to the 20th of May. So sorry once again, everybody. And uh, week two is also above average of a temperature, about 23rd, 27th of May, uh, with above normal temperature. That's sort of like quite a warm second half to April, doesn't it? That's the 21st, 27th of April, I should say. It looks like quite a warm second half to April. Week three will be the 28th of April to the 4th of May. That one also comes out above normal. And week four rounds is all off. This is the 5th to the 11th of May again with above average temperatures and finally precipitation week one going to be the 14th to the 20th of april with a driving average conditions and week two is also driving average so good agreement between the models today uh another driving average week there week three is going to be the 28th of april to the 4th of may uh near normal uh, or no signal and by turning through the week four i think I have lost a signal this is the 5th to the 11th of May, and uh, we haven't got much of a signal doing them. So, pretty good agreement between the two miles. Lots of high pressure influences. Um, but, uh, with the JMA and the CFS are right for weeks one and for weeks two. It looks like by weeks three and four, that high pressure will start to go northwards and pull in a little bit more of a, a northeast wind, which might be a little bit cooler into the early part of May. It looks like we keep it pretty dry, though, even into May, and uh, temperatures generally on the warm side. And then just a snapshot of what Mars is showing this week could look completely different when we look at uh, the uh, Mars again next week for next week's Jeremy Friday. So it's just a snapshot. Any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with big cow and large pinches of salt attached. We will be back shortly with your day to 14 down, which is going to include all of the regular features. Come back for that then. Uh, for Jeremy Friday for this week, mate, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.